Man, that seems like such a roundabout way <laughs> to get that. All right, what have we got in here then? A concealed door. Very well concealed. Very, you know, really just great hiding. You even got the door frame poking out from behind the fucking wardrobe. Genius, that. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. I'm in a trap. That's not good. Hey, do you want to go first, mate? Oh, it's a blood mage. Hello. Uh, how do I get more than two people in this? Maybe I don't? Oh, there we go. Entry door key. Is that to the door right here? Yes, probably. Yeah. Give me the money. Oh, I wasn't trying to disarm it. <laughs> that guy had nothing on him. Moving on. Hello. Out of that line of sight. It's a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Enough. I never like this part. Trap right ahead. Yoink. Yoink. I see you over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leliana, can you disarm this? Yes. Add a girl. Alright, you come to us then. That's a fucking beefy boy, my goodness. Beefy boy who doesn't love being frozen. Hello. Uh, that's not quite where I was wanting to go, but sure. <laughs> All right. Yes. got a level. Well in, mans. Right, what was I trying to get him to? Uh, I thought I had an idea of what I wanted to put points into, but I have completely forgot. Uh, okay, did I want this? No. Weapon and shield. Level 12, can't get that. 32 strength to get that.
I don't know. I don't know what I want. <laughs> I don't know what I want. None of these seem amazing. Out of the options that I have. A lot of stuff is unlocked at level 12, which is next level. But you can't leave without spending the point, right? You can't save the point for when you get to level 12 and then buy two level 12 things, can you? The only option is undo. So you have to spend it. Because otherwise I'd just save the point until I can get like some of this top tier stuff. And then get it all. But um, that is not an option, so... Uh, I don't like. I don't really care about this, but it would lead to getting that, which is nice. I really don't know. I guess we'll get that so that we can get that in the future. Sure. Sure thing. Can you disarm this as well? Yep. Was that- did I just see another fucking mercenary hiding around the corner? I swear I just saw a mercenary through the wall here. This is quite the fucking- Banquet hall, huh? Oh yeah, I definitely just saw a mercenary through the wall. What the fuck is this? Ugh. Bruh. Okay, not much to pick up around here, it seems. Go, go, gadget, Alistair. What the motherfuck was that? I finished. Oh, hello. We are definitely getting fucking fat stacks of cash by killing and looting all these people. That's nice. Never turn down a fat stack of cash. Time for more practice. Time for your death, mate. Unfortunate day to be you. unfortunate. Are we still in combat? Ah. That is a fucking big ass fire thing that you've got going on out there. Jesus Christ. Oh good, now I'm on fire. Stop, drop and roll, mate. <laughs> it's done. done. Just like you wanted. Thank you. Cash money, ooh, cash money. Yum, 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 yum. Cash money, ooh, cash money. Yum, 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 yum. What's next? How's Liliana doing on the old arrows? Uh, she's used them all. Did I give her a stack of ninety-nine? Pretty sure I gave her a stack of 99. And she has used them all. That was quick. Well, here's another 99. It's a very good thing that they have infinite regular arrows. Because, like, goddamn. <laughs> she went through that re <laughs> real quick. 
Faster than I was expecting. Should I be sus about the big random fucking shadow? <laughs> that is... Is that like... Yep, okay. I should be sus. I wasn't... I wasn't sure. I didn't realise it was a shadow though. I thought it was uh... I, I mean, I didn't realise it was a trap. I thought it was a shadow or something. So that does make sense. Alright, you fucks, you rat bastards. Cope and see, motherfuckers. Oh, he can't shoot it that far. <laughs> Why am I? What? <laughs> what? What made me fall over there? <laughs> no one was left alive. What the fuck? Okay, I've got some kind of status effect on me, I guess. That was weird. Now let's see. Oh my goodness, they never end. There's just so many. I thought we were done after that room. Uh, best angle. You know what? I should not be in, in the front here. believe how big this fucking building is. <laughs> Crazy. So was this... I don't even know if... Like, is this the way to go? Looks like that could lead that way. So what about this barricade? I thought the barricade was the way to go. And I'm off. Can I, like... Can I break yes. the barricade? There we go. So, like, now if I look at the map, where am I now? Now I'm pointed over there. Maybe it all leads around the same place or something? There was this door as well. That leads... Okay, that leads into there. And then this also leads into there. Okay, it does go to the same place. Right, okay. Confusion fucking averted. Goodness. Hello? He didn't cast it. Oh my goodness! Jesus, fuck! That all you've got? Hang on, doesn't Wynn have a resurrection? Revival. Uh, on me. Up you get, lad! Ready. Hell yeah, bitch, I'm back! And I've got no mana, but I'm back! Okay, new question. Do I still get the injury thing if I get revived? Oh boy, yes I do. What is grease? Penalty to movement speed. And broken bone, penalty to dex. Yuck. No one else has any negatives, do they? Uh, well, they have that one, but not 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, injury kit. Going. All right. All righty. Not right. a clue what fucked me so hard there. Yes. And I'm off. Seemed like everything was going well, and then suddenly I was dead. Ba -da -ba -bum. Bruh. Now is not the time for a nap, mate. Okay, so I think that's everything, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure that is everything sorted. Okay. Metal door. Metal door with quest behind it. Can Liliana pick this one? It's done. Sure can. Magister's shield. Six defense. 4% spell resist, minus 10 nature resist. Chance to avoid missile attacks. The air around this simple silver chain seems to shimmer slightly, and the chain itself feels weighty, as if it were something far more substantial. Okay, would I want that? Plus 6 defense and chance to avoid missile attacks is quite a lot. But it comes at the expense of my fire and cold resist, and also massive nature resist negative fucking thingy, so I don't I don't know what nature stuff is really, come to think of it. Hmm. But six defense, four spell resistance for anything, not just fire or cold, and a chance to avoid missile attacks, which is like archers, right? I think that's probably worth Oh, hello. New codex? The Magister's Shield. On the very day that the final stone was set into place in the Grand Cathedral of Olay, Archon Ves Vespasian was assassinated. For three days, every Magister Lord of the Imperium lived behind a wall of armoured guards. When his successor, Hadarius, was finally named Archon, the first enchanter of the Circle of Minrathus presented him with a gift, a silvery, unadorned chain made from pure lyrium. Enchantments had been worked into the links of the chain, so that donning this necklace was like holding up a shield. Blows struck at the wearer glanced harmlessly away. Unfortunately, Hadarius found the shield did not protect him against poison nearly so well. <laughs> Yeesh. We got a new character one? Oh good, it's the old fuck knows what's updated one. If we go out of it now... Ah, it has gone, so maybe it was Jenna TV? Uh, what the Jenna TV... I don't know, I don't know, is this... As it is the duty of all true sons of the Chantry to make the chant heard from every corner of the world, I made it my mission to find as many corners of the world as possible. The Maker can hardly expect us to do one without the other. I think that's new. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Potentially. Oof. That's pretty good. Do we want to give that to Alistair? No, Alistair's got a sick ass helmet on, doesn't he? Yeah, okay. Oh boy, I am glad it autosaved because my god, I have been forgetting to do that. Yes. Right. In fact, Alistair, in you go first, lad. I know not how you have survived thus far. Is it luck or providence? No matter. You will not survive this! Alright. Wanna bet? Oh, <laughs> I changed the wrong person. That's funny. Uh Well, this has gone badly. Alright. Uh. Holy shit, this is going badly. Fuck me. Yes. Hey, watch it! Oh god. Oh no. Oh, everyone's dead. I don't actually know... Where's Leliana's body? 
Like, this is the bro. But I don't know where Leliana is. Oh, did I get them both? Oh, I got both. Nice. And I'm off. Oh. Make a preserver. a lot. Ooh, hello. Viridium Greatsword. Very nice, very nice. Yoink! Alright, so I assume Liliana Bleeding. Penalty to health regen and torn jugular. Penalty to constitution. Crushed arm. Penalty to magic. Does any of her shit use magic? I don't know if we even care about that. Okay, my new question is, if I use a lesser one, does that only get rid of one of his things? On it. Because I've never actually had two at once before. Yes. That is the case. Using a lesser one only gets rid of one issue. Yes. What now? I am ready. All right. Okay. Blood Mage Leader. Dalish Battery. Plus 10% electricity damage. Hmm. Is that better than plus one magic? Which is like plus one to all the spells, but it's only plus one, so I don't know. Don't know how much difference plus one really makes, I guess. And then plus 10% cold resist. I guess I should swap cold resist for electricity damage, because I do use a lot of electricity damage. Bedroom key and some gold. Uh, to do accessories. Dalish battery. Let's pop that in there. So now we've got magic and electricity damage. Good, good. Uh, does anyone else want anything? Win. What have you got? You've got the iced band. Cold resist. I could give you another iced band. Just make you the absolute cold chad. Oh, but you haven't got any rings. Let's give you that then. Could give you the creationist cord. 10% fire resist, 10% healing effects received. You know what? Sounds fucking great. Sounds like a good time. No alcohol required. Okay, that's leading out. Where's the bedroom then? We got the bedroom key. Am I missing something? Where is the bedroom? That's just the way out. So that's that's the city map. Eh? Huh? Is it a plot item? No. So it's other? Bedroom key. Hmm. Where the fuck is the bedroom that we have not been able to get into? Oh, unless was it the room back was this room back here a bedroom that we just picked the lock of? Oh, it totally was. Okay. So that was supposed to be the reward to get in there. If you didn't have the wonderful Leliana with you. But of course we did, because we are very based. Highly based, in fact. All right, on to the next dirty back alley. Dirty. Hello, you want some? I'll give Time it you. Time for more Hello. Really Hello. 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 And I'm off. Damn, unbelievable that you are this dumb. All right. You should run while you can. 
Hey oh, the double level up, we love to see it. want some? <laughs> Alright, levels. Uh, so, what are we looking for? Were we just pumping magic? I think we're just pumping magic at this point, right? Oh, nice! We've got another skill. We whap our coercion up for sure. And then we wanted to get this. Permanent bonus to spell power. Lovely jubbly. It is a good day for day Len. And then we have the lovely Leliana. Who we are pumping points into... Was it Dex for you? I mean, obviously Dex the highest. Who I, I had someone who I was like, I need to pump points into a specific thing. Oh, it might have been Cunning actually. Was it you with cunning? Did I need you to have cunning for something? Hmm. No, maybe not. Oh, the size of the bonuses here are affected by cunning. But if you're not the one, then I'm just going to pump your dex. Oh, wait, no. Back. Back. Get dex up, and then we'll go mechanical expertise. Three. Very nice. Okay, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. I just got another ring. Who wants another ring? Win. Silver ring. Whoops. Uh, oh, never mind. It's a nothing ring. I apologize. I got your hopes up, Win. That's my bad. Uh, quaint hovel? Here I am. Can't even get into the quaint hovel with Leliana with a fucking... Oh, maybe, maybe this dude will give us access. Garnet. Gosh darn it, Garnet. Anything up here? Oh. One of those. Was that the last one of those, I think? You have marked the front doors of all four. Return to the collective for your reward. Nice, okay. And what did you want? Yes. Ah. Bad news. No, I can't believe this. I won't. Bad news from the danger zone. Bye. All right. So, how the fuck do you get into the quaint hovel? I guess you just can't don't. Do that. Not possible to pick. Did someone have a key that I haven't looted? If it's not possible to pick, how'd you get in? If no one dropped a key. Hmm. Hmm. Have I missed something? It's not looking like it. Hmm. I guess fuck me then. All right. Out we go then, out we go, to the Pearl. We know a lot of shit's going down in the Pearl. Area unlocked, the Pearl, huh. 
full-on big area. Enough to get that little notification, is it? The Anderfells. The Anderfells are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate place in all the world, for two blights have left great expanses of the steppes so completely devoid of life that corpses cannot even decay there. No insect or grub will ever reach them. It is a land filled with wonders like the Murdain, with its gigantic white statue of Our Lady carved into its face, her hands outstretched and bearing an eternal flame, or Weishaupt Fortress, with its walls of living rock towering over desolate plains below. The Anders, too, are a people of extremes, the most devout priests and the most deadly soldiers, the poorest nation in the world, and the most feared. Hmm. Okay. Touch nothing. Hmm. I don't think they clean the surfaces in this place very often. <laughs> okay. We've got a few things to do in here, apparently. That scamp Kai Long sent you, right? Glad he hasn't forgotten about us. The mercenaries are right there. If you're here about us, it's just speak up. Hello. Can we do something about this? Wait, they're all green. She's too good. Be off with you now, and be glad I only took from you your gold. <laughs> Fools. Banter? Fucking get wrecked. Culture of Ferelden. The Ferelden's are a puzzle. As a people, they are one bad day away from reverting to barbarism. Barbarism. They repelled invasions from Tevinter during the height of the Imperium, with nothing but dogs and their own obstinate disposition. They are the coarse, willful, dirty, disorganised people who somehow gave rise to our prophet, ushered in an era of enlightenment, and toppled the greatest empire in history. There are few things you can assume safely in dealing with these people. First, they value loyalty above all things, beyond wealth, beyond power, beyond reason. Second, although they have nothing in their entire country which you are likely to think at all remarkable, they are extremely proud of their accomplishments. Wow, this was written by such a dickhead. Third, if you insult their dogs, they are likely to declare war. And finally, the surest sign that you have underestimated the Ferelden's is that you think you have come to understand them. Empress Selene the First of Orlais, in a letter to her newly appointed ambassador to Denerim. Empress Selene the First of Orlais, you suck. Right, hello. Uh, let's go with you first, Sanger. Welcome to the Pearl. I'm Sanger, the proprietor. Have a seat. Get comfortable and tell me what you need. Every one of my people here is a skilled craftsman and don't let anyone tell you different. You'll have to go one at a time, I'm afraid. Our rooms aren't quite big enough to share between so many. But we can discuss that in a moment. So what would you like me to show you? The men or the women? Or some of both, if you prefer. Uh, a poster suggested I find a meeting of friends here. She scowls and makes a subtle motion toward the back rooms, as though not wanting to alert the people inside. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Uh, <laughs> let's see the women. Wait here. Now, before you choose one... Let me remind you of the guild rules. You see these lovely gentlemen by the door? If you don't play nicely with my people, these boys will have words with you. You'll pay up front, 40 silver. I'm getting tired of throwing soldiers off the pier for forgetting their coin. We're a craft hall, not a public charity. So, shall I let you get acquainted? Uh, <laughs> 40? I'm not paying more than 20. No, I'm good. Oh. That's too bad. Come back again. Perhaps we'll have someone who catches your eye. Okay, I think that was all she had to say. Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. Uh, who or what are the white falcons? We're the toughest, meanest, and loudest mercenary band from the free marches. If you haven't heard of us yet, you will soon. Now get out. Uh... Time to close shop before there's trouble. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? Nobles want solid, reliable soldiers, not riffraff. Uh, you have a point there. Men, let's clear out. Don't, don't want to get on Hokane's bad side, do we? Tell Kylon I owe him one. Nice. That went pretty well. Uh, convince them to leave peacefully. Nice. 
Uh, right. I've got nothing to say to you. All right. Yes. What? Is it customary where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? Uh, who's that woman who fought off those men? Isabella. If you had spent any time here or on the docks, you would know. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman and, as you saw, quite formidable. Quite. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. Hmm. Uh, duelist? You should ask Isabella. I do not know how to explain. Who are you? They call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. Uh, Isabella is a ship's captain? You are surprised. Isabella is no ordinary woman. Isabella commands the... Yeah, she calls that. herself a duelist. What went on between them? Did you not see? They wanted money back. Some of them never learn. If Isabella consents to play a game with you, it's an honour. You do not ask for compensation if you lose. Huh? What can you tell me about her? Isabella, come on. She okay. calls herself a duelist. <laughs> That's the same as always. Right, I'm off. <laughs> Man's looping. Hello, you're cool. Oh, what's this? Dane and the werewolf. Let me sing of heroes and honour lost and found. Of monsters and men in all forms. Of Dane, hunter without peer. Feared by the forests of Ferelden. Who one autumn morn spied a heart of pure white in beam of warmest sun. A prize for huntsman's spear. Through the greenwood they ran, Hart and Hunter, bringing the stag to spear at last in long forgotten grove. Heedless that the chase had waked a hunger in the golden wood, a werewolf, a creature with mind of man, lured by the hunt and come forth to lay claim to the heart as rightful tribute, drawn by the scent of cooling blood. In the silence the two hunters held, Dane spear armed against the wolf with all his brood, knew with sinking heart he was lost, steeled for the winding roads of the fade. Then the beast spoke, human-like in voice, you have taken this stag from my woods and my pack, but nothing comes without cost. The wolf pack circled, ever closer, and he who felled boars and bears with his bright blade knew fear. They spoke his name in roars, like gravestones offering a beast's bargain. Die here, huntsman, alone and forgotten, or take my place amongst the wolves, as I take your place amongst man. Thus was a bargain struck, and Dane the wolf pack served in wolfen form, and the werewolf to his family sped as Dane, one year and a day, all told. But some things cannot be repent. Some coinage cannot be unspent. When hearts are wagered, a fish are rent. From the saga Dane and the Werewolf, as recorded by the minstrel Ukum. 485 Black. Sir. Ah, the Grey Warden. And I had heard that all the Ferelden Wardens were killed or exiled from this place. Oh, don't look so surprised. I've seen many of your kind in my journeys, and there is always something... Odd about you. Huh. Strong hands. Could I entice you to leave your order and sign up as one of my crewmen? I could use those strong hands at my... Helm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Strong hands at your dot 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 helm. Uh, your fighting skills are impressive. I assume you saw that little drama. None of these poor brutes has ever proven a match for me. They are too clumsy and predictable. I fight with quickness and wit, rather than with brute force and strength. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. Uh, would you teach me? <laughs> An unusual request, coming from a fearsome slayer of Darkspawn. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. But I have watched you, and you seem to lack a particular grace that is required. You are accustomed to doing battle a certain way, yes? Yeah, with magic. I can teach you some basics. <laughs> Perhaps you can pass it on to someone who might be interested in what I have to offer. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential student better. So we shall call for a drink, and you will honour me with a game. All right. Uh, are there no other ways for us to get to know each other? Do you have something else in mind? Oh my god. <laughs> we could board your ship. I'd like to see what's below deck. <laughs> oh, and now you've piqued my interest. It would surely be rude of me to decline such a delicious offer. You're going with her? 
I... I thought you were joking. What about us? Doesn't what we have mean anything to you? Wait, what? Please, don't tell me you really want to... I did not realize that somebody had already claimed you. I have enemies uh... enough, and I would like to avoid making more. I do not want to cause offense. Let us forget what was said. Now then, a drink. A round of wicked grace. Else we have no agreement. What? But I'm with Morrigan. I didn't... Wait, the game actually considers me to be with both Morrigan and Liliana, and that's allowed? Hmm. Hmm. That seems odd. I would have thought that wouldn't be accepted. Also, I didn't know I was with Liliana. <laughs> I thought uh, I thought I was just with Morrigan, and that me and Liliana were just bros. But I guess uh, I guess Dalen is on the two-time life. All right, a game then. Have you ever played Wicked Grace? It is easy to learn, but difficult to master. Damn, Liliana, did you, you just screw me out of a good time? You moves as carefully as your own. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I, or would you like to? Uh, you can. Very well. I think Liliana yeah. just screwed me that out of a good time. That should be sufficient. Five cards each to start with. And may the cleverest player win. Is it my turn again? Dexterity. Try to catch Isabella's hand as she's drawing a card. Please, keep your hands to yourself. Ha! Huh. The Angel of Death card. The game is over. We must show our hands. I don't think I've ever seen quite so odd a hand. None of your cards match. Serpents of Deceit and Avarice, Songs of Temerity and Mercy. Not a great hand, but I still win. <sighs> still undefeated after all these years. Will I never meet my match? Uh... So she's cheating and winning. But I'll just lose again if we play again. So uh, you're supposed to teach me now. Not so fast, sweet thing. I'm not sure I know you yet. Come. Another game? All right. Ah, oh, you're a good sport. Another game, then. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I, or would you like to? I will. Good. Go ahead, then. Are you done yet? Five cards each to start with. And may the cleverest player win. Ah, the night of dawn. Just what I wanted. We seem to have run out of ale. I shall send my boy to fetch some. I obviously don't have the decks to catch her, right? Ha! Huh. The Angel of Death card. The game is over. We must show our hands. Ah, quite a good hand, sweet thing. Perhaps enough to best a lesser player. I have three angels. Fortitude, truth and charity. And the Knight of Dawn. I win. <sighs> Still undefeated after all these years. Will I never meet my match? Uh, so there's no option to say, can I get that training now? <laughs> I'm not gonna, like, she's cheating, but she's cool. I, I don't mind. <laughs> I think I need a rest for now. Fair enough. I will be here, should you wish to play again. Do we get that training now? Welcome back, Grey Warden. And what can Isabella do for you today? Uh, wait, do I just not get that training? Yes, the siren's call. My pride and joy. She's seen me from my own ravine and the Isle of Lemeron to the coast of Parvolan. All I need is my ship and the wind at my back. And once my men have had their fill of the pleasures of dry land, we will be off again. We are getting as far away from this blight as possible. Makes sense. Uh, you're an excellent fighter. Why are you running? Hey, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near the blight. And you'd get away too if you had any sense in that pretty head of yours. The way I see it, I can sail as far away from it as I need to, even to the other side of the far Anderfells. The sea will look after her own. Uh, as a Grey Warden, I do not have that luxury. Ah, of course. You have a duty. If you do save us all, sweet thing, I shall return to thank you personally. Ooh. Where did you learn to fight as you do? I have picked up skills from many different places and turned them into a method distinctly my own. Speed, not strength, is what is essential. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. Uh, can you teach me this time? 
<laughs> An unusual, but I have what I can teach. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential no! <laughs> student better. So we shall call for a can drink. Can I just pay you to teach you me? Honor me? My skills are not for sale and thus cannot be bought. All I ask is for a game. Some small talk. Is it so hard? I've played two games and you didn't fucking give me anything. <laughs> have you ever played Wicked Grip? Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Sh Good. Go. Is there any done? way of me actually getting this training? Oh, I think this card will... C Please. Ah. Serpents of... Oh, still undefeated after all these years. Do I have to accuse her of cheating? Is that the only way of getting it? Fine, let's do that. Now, now. There's no need for such petty accusations. You are simply an inexperienced player. You Damn. will get better with practice. Um, just a moment. Come here, please. This... Isabella is cheating. Do you realize it? Uh... I knew it. I think she has an ulterior motive. She wants to know if you're smart enough to be a duelist. And this is her way of finding out. Ah. I... I think we can outsmart her together. I can help you. Uh, sounds like a plan. Well, will you play a game? Stop whispering over there. I will. Ah, oh, you're a good sport. Another game then. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I? Good. Go ahead then. Are you done yet? Five cards each to stop. Is it my turn again? Uh, continue? Which, I don't know which, Le what does Leliana want me to do? Ah. Got her. <laughs> you deceitful bitch. Cheating, I see. You certainly have quick reflexes. I'm quite impressed. And as for me cheating, well, the game does not matter. I just wanted to see if you could outwit me. You have proven yourself quick and resourceful. And I would be honoured to pass my skills on to you. Uh, teach me now. Come. We will need some space for this. Specialization unlocked duelist. Nice. Okay, does she have anything else? I don't else? think there's anything else I can teach you. Perhaps tell those you meet where you learned what you know. Alright, alright. Cool, cool. She was cool. Shame fucking Leliana apparently thought we were in a relationship <laughs> and uh, screwed us out of a good time. No, it's... Uh... Same, man, same. Yes. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Nothing in here. Can't do that. What's the password? Uh, sausage? <laughs> the grey nug flies north for winter. The griffins will rise again. Sup. Another grey warden supporter. Not just a supporter, Payton. That's a grey warden. He's the one Arl Howe is looking for. Our trap landed a warden. You've got one chance to surrender. Do you fancy dying? Loghain framed the Grey Wardens. For what it's worth, I believe you. Not that I particularly care. <laughs> wow. We're not common guards, Warden. We're House Elite. The Elite are about Chevra, to get fucking shot. Canant on. and Jarvi. Let's kill ourselves a Warden. Now Enemy let's. Ahead. Which one first? Watch out. Bad idea, lads. <laughs> <laughs> His elite, you say. Uh, report back to Rosamond. Uh, go back to the tavern.
What's on your Whoops. mind? It is no trouble. Note from Arl Howe congratulates his creative methods in capturing so many Grey Warden supporters. The Arl says the bounty per head will be increased to reflect his stellar performance. Sucks to suck, man. Do, do, do. Right, nothing else in here, it appears. Make a Chantry Templars, whoever saved me! I didn't mean to kill him! Can you make this go away? Sure can, bud. I, I could have handled it. Thanks. I think I need to go hide somewhere. You do that. I finished. Codex updated. Uh, da, 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 da. We've read that one. We've read that one. Uh, when last we embraced, one noticed the redolence of another's company, but one was unmindful. No, we read that. I long to dance you beneath the moonlight, our hearts beating like the paired wings of a dove, in concert with the glory of the Maker and the beauty of the world that we must shepherd in his absence. Join me in a purity that will last the ages when the brothers mark the chant of light anew. <laughs> Otter's pocket. He's earned it tonight. Is that what a fucking now? saying? Otter's pocket? What? Otter's pocket, mate. Right, are we done in here then? We explored that one. Yeah. I believe that is everything here, right? Wait, we never found out. Did we never go in there? I guess we never went in there. How did I miss that? <laughs> what? What now? Can't talk to that guy. All right, cool. Coolio. So, the alienage we can't go to. We've done the Pearl. We've done the back alley. We've done the deserted building. We've done the back street. We've done the dark alley. We can't go to the Denerim estate. We can't go to the Royal Palace. So, back to the market district then. Oh, and a fight on the way. I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these louts. Things are about to get messy. Alright, Kristoff. Ah! Oh, stunned. You hate to see it. Die already. Well, we're going to be stunning a whole load of green as well, but you know what? It's alright. On this, you fought our hands. Yes, voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? <laughs> Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. Oh, I am. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. I like this guy. This guy's cool. He's like, my god, you're such a chad. Yes, mate. What is that? Tier 6? Woo! Lower damage than that. Much higher crit chance, though, and higher armor penetration, and higher strength modifier. Hmm. And two slots. Hmm. Should we give him that? It is slightly lower damage in general, but the increased crit chance, and the increased armor penetration, and the increased strength modifier, and... All the other bits probably make it better. Unless you're fighting beasts.
Oh, it's a codex weapon. A, a, a ode? Long ago, a soldier from Guaran was returning home after 20 years at war. He had sold his sword for passage to Denerim, and had to make his way through the Brazilian forest with nothing to his name but a single crust of bread. On his way, he met an old blind woodcutter sitting on a tree stump. Here is someone worse off than myself, said the soldier, and he gave the old man his last scrap of bread. The old man blessed him and gave the soldier his axe in return. The soldier went on his way, and soon night fell. He made his bed in a tree branch and held the woodcutter's axe at his side to ward against beasts and bandits. When the moon was high, he was awakened by the sound of weeping. Show yourself, he shouted, for try as he might, the soldier could find no one nearby. Help me, spoke the tree in which he'd been sleeping. A mage transformed me into this shape, and I will never be set free. If you had any pity in you, you would cut me down so that my spirit could go to the maker. So the soldier took up his axe and struck the tree. The cuts bled like wounds, and soon hot blood covered the axe and burned the soldier's hands. But he held tightly to the axe and felled the tree. The tree shattered when it hit the ground, and from the splinters rose a demon who bowed to the soldier and vanished into the fade. The soldier was chilled to the bone and could not sleep. In the morning he found that the axe still burned like the blood of the sylvan, but despite its heat, he could not get warm again. They say he ended his days in Guaran cutting wood for his seven fireplaces, shivering and cursing the spirits. All right. Alistair. Do, do, do. Enjoy your new weapon, friend. We will have to put some things in you when we get back in camp. Put some of the... Uh, the whatchamacallits in. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Gem thingies. Whatever they are. Whatever they are. How's Liliana doing on arrows now? Uh, wait, is that one fire arrow left? Is that what that is? Amazing. Incredible. Fantastic. Is there anything else to find, like, up here at all or anything? Does not appear to be. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. City map. And was this city map as well? Yar. Back into the market. All righty. Well, uh, I think that is probably a good point to leave off. We've got a bunch of stuff to hand in, but uh, we are quite close to proceeding on to our next objective, I think. So, when we come back, we will do some hand-ins around town, and uh, yeah, then I guess we'll either see if there's any side quests we want to do quickly uh, nearby, or we will continue on looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Cool stuff. This, this has been a very big city. Have enjoyed exploring it. Very cool. Very enjoyable. Hope you've enjoyed as well. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. See you then.